You are watching Endeavor TV with uh, Samsung N150. We're going to test some videos, pictures, Counter Strike, and what else? What else? Yeah, and some other things on this device now. Word, yes. And we have a new mascot here, <laughs> as you can see. And as you can hear in the background, we already have the uh, Iron Man 2 trailer, um, HD trailer playing in 480p. Um, it actually plays pretty smooth with 480p with the Atom N450, but as soon as we're going to switch it to 720p, it's going to get choppy. But let's see. So 480p is no problem. Sorry that I'm um, not doing the full screen right now, but um, it's giving me a hard time today. The Samsung N150 or the Internet Explorer 8 playing anything in full HD uh, on, on full screen in YouTube but as you can see the 720p video right now here it's it's playing and the sound is okay too but it's so choppy that you can't enjoy it so you should stick with uh, 360p and 480p if you go to some normal website like the New York Times um, to check how much you see of the screen you can compare that with your regular um, desktop monitor we have 1028 times 600 resolution here and I'm actually um, zoomed in right now a bit because of the German video so this would be the normal size you see the New York Times website in you can just compare with your regular um, screen but as you can see you can see everything and if you hold down the, uh, the, the um, control button and zoom in then or scroll forward then you can zoom in a bit to see everything bigger but there is another article on Annabelle.com about um, zoom programs like zoom it and magnify and blah 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 but let's switch to our next test that would be the 720p uh, Big Bug Bunny video which I'm always doing with all my netbooks I'm testing it should be more than 20 about right now Let's go to a little a scene where there's a little bit more action. Um, the maximum volume would be like this. Let me turn it up. Actually, the volume regulation never wants to work in this program, so this would be the maximum volume. As you can see, 720p plays smoothly. Um, the sound isn't the best on the Samsung, it's a little like you would be in a bathroom or something, but with the headphones on the side it's really great. So let's check out 1080p, which doesn't play this great, sadly, but yeah, it's only an Atom N450 processor, so you can't expect too much. If you would have a Broadcom chip, it would play 1080p easily. But as you can see, the sound doesn't fit the picture, especially here. So yeah, 1080p is a no-go, but if you play something like Two and a Half Man, that's of course no problem, because that's a regular DivX file I have here. This is the standard resolution, if you do full screen. You can see we only uh, pull down the volume. You can see we only have a small black um, line on the top and bottom. This is actually the maximum brightness right now, but it's so bright outside that you can actually see everything pretty good, even though the sun is shining in my room right now. So this is a standard DivX video. Next up is a Word 2007 file or not file, just an empty document. My settings um, are right now that everything is minimized here on the top if I use it. So if you just type something, you, you have actually one third of a um, DINA 4 paper, which you can see right now, as you can check here on the side. You scroll down, it should be about one third. If you want to use on the top everything Anyway, you just have to click on the start or paste or um, no insert. 
this is German office right now but it should actually look the same. To activate or deactivate the minimize function just right click here on the bottom and say uh, minimize or maximize multi-function tab bar I think in English. But yeah this is word 2007. You can work pretty good with it. Um, in my hands on video you can check the keyboard also which I kind of like but everybody who saw this device told me that actually um, the buttons look like they would be for children because they are so round but they are pretty usable um, last no previous to last test is just some regular picture viewing we have a 5 megapixel picture here and if I click on next and next you can see with 1 gigabyte RAM maximum is 2 with 1 gig of RAM you can easily browse through your pictures without waiting then last but not least the Counter-Strike um, 1.6 test um, which didn't work in German video so I welcome every German watcher right now because it mm, should work this time I tried it out before and we have 800 times 600 resolution for this OpenGL as video decoder and it works better than with the Packard Bell Dot S2 which actually has the exact same hardware as the Samsung N150 so I don't quite understand why but I'm happy that uh, it works on here because this is probably a more popular device anyway a full German test is on uh, endevil.com for this little fella let's do 12 players and start the game so let's show you how bad I suck in gaming but that's not my job anyway so I would say it's about 23 to 30 frames per second depending on um, how much movement is on the picture so this works pretty good for some quick playing it should be enough if you want um, something better with better graphics you should check out the Samsung N510 Lenovo S12 or actually anything with a Nvidia Ion graphic chip so yeah there This is the Samsung N150 for Endeavor TV. This was Balaj Gal. Check out more videos under Endeavor TV on YouTube and uh, some nice tests and reviews about netbooks on endeavor.com. Um, yeah, this is it.